What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Barnetta and right behind me is my coat closet. Today I'm going to be cleaning it out and kind of talking through my thought process and how I decide to keep things and let other things go. A few items in here are actually sentimental so I think it'll be good to kind of touch on those and explain uh, why I held on to something for so long and why it's probably time to finally let it go. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first. I'm going to clear out these recyclables and get them down to the car just so we have a little bit more room to work with. Um, definitely waited way too long on this and something that just will instantly create more space. Alrighty guys, so now that I've gotten those recyclables out of the way, the things that are obviously not something that should be there, I can turn and go to the donation drop-off center. And I know I've talked about this before, but the donation spot is just so awesome because you don't set things around the house and forget them. Number two is that it allows you to really test and see if you can live without that item because yes, it's in an organized spot, but it is also out of sight, out of mind. You can really figure out if you have a connection with it and don't want to let it go if you miss it or if you, yeah, can get rid of it. And three is that it allows a quick grab and go spot for when you want to finally get to the donation center and just get that excess clutter out of your house. And then this is, I don't know if you guys can see it, but this is a lantern that we really like, but there's just nowhere in our apartment for it. So I would rather give it to someone who can use it. I think I might actually give this one to my mother. So I'll just grab these things and get them out of the way. And now we're at that point where I have some extra things in here that I have been thinking about getting rid of that weren't in the exact central drop-off spot. But recently I decided that I'm gonna be changing my eating lifestyle. And one of the things that I really needed was a, oh, <laughs> was a new blender. So this isn't this this blender works fine, but it's just not strong enough for what I'm going to be moving into. So I'm going to give this to someone who can use it. Uh, so I'll put that in the donation pile. And then, guys, this is a really good example of something I thought I wanted to get rid of, but I actually don't. So I'm going to hold on to this. This is. Uh, a juicer that I got a couple of Christmases ago from CJ's mom and I got so much use out of it but recently uh, after we moved I kind of wasn't using it a lot and I was thinking maybe I don't want to juice anymore maybe I want to go into just drinking smoothies but since I got our blender I really do love it but I miss juicing so I'm gonna hold on to this and put this underneath the sink where it belongs. Oh okay guys I'm getting a little warm <laughs> but the closet looks so much better already and I think I'm gonna move you guys in a little bit so you can get some better angles. But until then, let me just grab a couple of these shoes down here. Um, Cause I think I'm gonna get rid of one of these. You can see that they're like really beat up. This one lost a buckle and these ones are kind of really scuffed. So I'm definitely gonna have to get rid of both of these soon. But since the season has changed, I really haven't worn these ones at all. And I actually have still worn these ones. And they're not completely beat, so until that happens, I'm going to hold on to the black ones. But I am going to get rid of the brown ones because they are fraying. And like I said, they lost that buckle. And next winter, I'm going to buy some that are even more high quality. So hopefully they'll last more than one season. So I'll put these into the donation pile. Okay, so I think it's a good time to move you guys over to this side so you can see me work through this side of the closet. Here we go. Before I get into the coats, I'm just gonna kinda clear up over here. Um, this umbrella, I'm just gonna get rid of because it's really low quality, so this is gonna go into the donation pile. I see a couple of CJ's things that should just probably be uh, with his shoes and his hats. Then over here in the corner, you'll see that we have a couple of bottles that look like they should have been included in that recycling haul, but they are actually for my brother and future sister-in-law's wedding, which is this October. And they're supposed to be for the centerpieces. And there's a whole bag of fake flowers over here that are supposed to be for that. But we're still a little bit out, so I think I'm just going to get rid of all of this. And then we can just kind of stock up before the wedding. I think we have enough time that it should be okay. So I'll get rid of this stuff. And now it's time to move into those coats. So I'll just kind of bring them all out to the center and we can look through them together. Okay. First is CJ's favorite vest, so we're not going to be getting rid of this. But these three coats are going to be returned to my aunt. When I had a more um, office type job, I would wear these. They're like a little oversized, but I found them to be like really chic. And now that I'm at a place where I can just wear whatever I want, 
I don't use them and she said that she didn't want me to get rid of them. So I'll set these aside. Here we have a pea coat that I would like to hold on to because it's really nice for uh, company parties and any other special events. Uh, this is a work jacket of CJ's, so I won't be getting rid of that. I will not be getting rid of this either because I really like it for the winter when I go work out outside. A pretty scarf that I think I'll just keep in my regular closet, so I'm going to take this out of here and move it to where it should be. This is CJ's outer warmer work coat so we'll also hold on to this and then lastly I have this really pretty black parka and I don't think I want to get rid of it but it is pretty old and it's starting to shed feathers so I might just think on this one and put it back I feel like I might not necessarily need it if I have the other dressy black coat plus I do have another winter coat that's still out because it's been a little cold still but I'll just hold on to this and then maybe in a couple months I'll give you guys an update on how I feel about it. And that is all the coats. So these guys are all going to go back to the side. And typically I would get rid of extra hangers, but we have a few winter coats that are still hanging in the entryway. So until uh, winter is officially over and all the coats are back in the closet, we'll hold on to these to make sure we don't get rid of something we actually needed. So it's looking pretty awesome in here right now. And what I'm going to do is grab this little tote we have and bring it up here along with a summer uh, mat that I use for the beach and decide what we really do and don't need from those items. As you can see, this tote doesn't actually have a ton of things in it, but there are some items I'm going to get rid of in here. First, we have these plastic uh, wine glasses. One of them is cracked and we haven't used the other one, so I'm going to recycle this one and then uh, donate the other three. Next up, we have a football. I will not be getting rid of this because CJ loves to use this in the summer. After that, we have some Mac Apple adapters. I will be holding on to these because I need them for work and for home. After that, we have two toys for BMO. Won't be getting rid of these because she only has like six toys as it is. But there is this blanket that I do not think that we need, so I'm going to be donating this. And lastly, we have this mat. Uh, that you, you can unroll it and lay on it like a bolster pillow at the beach. I'm going to hold on to this because it only just turned spring. And you know, winters are really long up here and you really can't think clearly if you love something or don't need it when it's been a long time since you've seen the sun. So I'm going to put that right in this bin now that there's so much more space and hold on to it for now. All right, so now all we have to do is go through this side of the closet and I will turn you guys so you can see it. Just like with the coats, I'll bring all the things over in that corner to the center. This is an iris security system for our apartment, which we haven't set up yet. So what I'm gonna do is put the, oh, the beemos in the bags if you're crinkling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this front and center so CJ can help me get that installed. Next, all that was over in the left were games. So just a few things I can see right off the bat that I'm going to be getting rid of. I'm going to get rid of all of these Magic the Gathering cards. I did say I was a nerd in a couple videos ago and I was not lying. I pretty much only play this at work though, so I will just be bringing this in with me to work to share with everyone else. And then we have, I think, a couple of smaller games that are CJ's and he doesn't want to get rid of them so what we'll do is leave these in the car so when we go to a game night we can just grab them real quick and we don't have to end up not using them like we haven't lately. Put these right in the middle for now. Next we have Scattergories and I like Scattergories but CJ doesn't love it so what I'm going to do is give this to my parents or our close group of friends who like they like to host game night so we'll let them have this. Monikers is a game I will never get rid of because it's my absolute favorite party game. And then we have another one called Dancing Eggs. And if you have kids or just like to have fun uh, in general, this is a super fun game and I absolutely recommend it. So we'll hold on to this one. And I would move all of these to the car, but we never forget about these ones. We always tend to bring them to parties easily, but for the other ones, we always forget. So I think it's smart to know when there's items that you don't think of as often and put them somewhere where you know you'll grab them if you really want to use them. So yeah, these will go into the car and these will go to our friends and that'll get us a little more space in here. 
Instead of moving you guys again, I'll just kind of grab what we have over here. We actually have a beach umbrella, and I was thinking about getting rid of this, but I think we will actually hold on to it for a little while longer, at least this summer, see how many times we use it. If we don't use it enough to justify having it, I will be getting rid of this after the summer. I'll put that back where it is. Then we have my portfolio. Maybe I can go through this sometime. It has a lot of my illustrations. Uh, in it and everything and I've thought about getting rid of this guys but I can't yet so it's gonna go back to where it lives after that I just have a records bin this has a few mementos in it some so like some photos and maybe some letters or drawings or whatever and then our uh, actual like important records so I know I've said I don't buy bins. I basically have gotten rid of all the ones that don't serve a purpose and retain the ones that we need for like some photos and other things that we can't quite get rid of yet. Then this is our toolbox. And I definitely did go through here and made sure I didn't have any repeated items. Um, so yep, this is gonna be held onto. And then underneath these two items, we do have like a rolling drawer bin that I have gone through recently. I'm not gonna go through it today just for the sake of keeping this video a little shorter, but we're gonna hold on to that for now. And then, that is everything. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna give you guys kind of a pan of what the closet looks like now, and then I'll show you all the crap that I got out of it. So here we go. Okay guys, big reveal, and there's Bimo guarding her treasures. Look at all of that stuff I just took out. She really loves it. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it every time. Please like and subscribe if you like what you've seen. And until the next time, remember that there is no one like you. You are loved and you are beautiful inside and out just like Bimo.